Welcome to another Exchange 2016 slash Active Directory video. Um, I am Ed, and in this video, I wanted to show you how you are able to use um, the new PowerShell 7 preview um, with the AD commandlets. So, obviously, if we had to launch normal PowerShell, to give you an example. Um, so I would have to obviously first import the module, right? Then I can say get ad user user one, and there I have my information. Now the same applies to PowerShell seven. Is I can import the um, Active Directory, uh, Active Directory. Right. Obviously, it gives you a bit of a warning. Um, now you can do is run the same command again. So as you can see, new version, older version, um, doing the same thing. So if you're like myself and like to experiment with the new versions and new releases. Um, to get a feel for how it's worked or how it's working, um, just remember that this is in a lab, this is not in production. I wouldn't advise you to install this on a production server um, because I'm not saying anything will happen, it's just that this is beta software or preview software um, and uh, most companies don't like you to go and put software on that's not approved by CAB, etc. So, in my lab, you can see if something breaks, I can reinstall it in production. Well, not so easy to reinstall. So as you can see, um, identical information. Basically, there's your user principal name, etc. There's your SID, the SAM account, etc. Now this one has a run space ID, which you don't see here. Now, what I want to show you as well is um, you cannot run uh, exchange commandlets in here. It doesn't recognize the PS session, uh, for example, um, or if you want to add the snap in, it doesn't allow you to actually load any snap ins. So just be aware that because it's still in preview stage, we don't know if Microsoft will release PowerShell 7 for. Um, Exchange 2016 or 2019, or if there's a future version of Exchange, whether that version will have the new PowerShell and the new framework, um, might might not. Don't know. Nobody knows. So um, that is PowerShell 7. Now, in one of my other articles, we went through the installation of running this. And as you can see, it has its own folder versus having um, an icon here with a PowerShell. So as you can see, and there you have it. So as this updates to new version, I will update and carry on testing and seeing what works and what doesn't work. Thank you very much for watching.